How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're talking about five paranormal events that have baffled historians for decades. But before we get into it, I want to give a huge shout out to Amino for sponsoring this video. So what is Amino? Amino is a mobile network of communities for every interest on the planet. Seriously, there's Amino communities for almost every conceivable topic. Science, gaming, history, dogs, poetry, and even knitting enthusiasts. But the main reason we absolutely love Amino is for the paranormal community. There's so much creepy content on there, I just know you guys will get right into it. We've recently joined the paranormal community on Amino and have started posting videos there. Everyone involved in the group is super interesting and have a love for all things creepy and supernatural. There's a ton of amazing content on the Paranormal Amino community, everything from people's first-hand encounters with the supernatural and horror stories, to ghost photos and cryptid videos. If you love the type of content we post, then you'll love this app and the Paranormal community on there. The app makes it really fun to interact with everyone on the forum too. There's quizzes and challenges. One really awesome thing I like is the more you interact with the community, you begin to level up. So if you post a blog or quiz or respond to comments, you start earning rep points which level up your profile. The Paranormal Group has nearly 70,000 members and it's growing fast. That means a ridiculous amount of creepy content for you to devour and enjoy and it's constantly updating. So as you know, I only recommend things I think you guys will enjoy and this is definitely a great fit for the HamFam community. So to celebrate our partnership with Amino, we're giving away some Slapped Ham t-shirts to some lucky viewers who go and follow us on Amino. To enter, there's four easy steps. Download the Amino app on your mobile, it's completely free. There's a link in the description box below and it's pinned in the comment section as well. Search Paranormal in the app and join the community. Then search Slapped Ham in the Paranormal group and follow us. I have to stress to search for us within the Paranormal group. Then post on our wall your favourite paranormal clip, creepy photo or scariest story you've ever heard. The most interesting submissions could win a Slapped Ham t-shirt. To make things easy, these steps will be in the description box below along with a link to the app. So go ahead, download the free Amino app and get involved. Early on February 8th, 1855, a strange sight awaited the residents of Devon County, England. Marring a fresh blanket of snow that had fallen during the night was a trail of unusual footprints. The trail stretched for more than 100 miles across fields, over walls and on top of roofs, and they even crossed the River X. The prints themselves looked to have been made by a bipedal creature with cloven hooves. The tracks almost seemed to have burned through the snow, each print was deep, almost reaching the frozen ground below. Many people were understandably frightened by the appearance of the mysterious footprints. In some cases, the tracks led right up to the entrance of their homes, causing many individuals to cower indoors, fearing that the devil had made his way to Devon in search of sinners. The footprints have never been explained, but numerous theories have been put forth in the search for a reasonable explanation. Some of the more popular theories include the possibility of a kangaroo having escaped from a private zoo, hopping wood mice, rain falling and then freezing in unusual shapes, a wandering badger and a stray weather balloon dragging an anchor or instrument. All of these explanations fell short of a concrete answer to the appearance of the mysterious footprints. The distance the tracks travelled would have been very long for any of the animals mentioned, and the freezing rain theory doesn't explain why the tracks are so uniform and clean. As for the weather balloon theory, there were no reports of any balloons having been lost, and the probability of a balloon dragging an implement without snagging on a tree or chimney is very slim. When Maria Gomez Pereira saw that a stain was forming on the kitchen floor of her home in Balmez, Spain, she had no idea that it was the start of one of the most thoroughly documented paranormal events in recent history. The first stain came to her attention in August 1971. What started out as a small area of discoloration on the concrete floor soon turned into an image of a menacing face. No amount of scrubbing would remove the image and eventually Maria's son and husband broke up the face with a pickaxe before re-cementing the floor. The face reappeared a week later and other faces appeared along with it. News quickly spread about the mysterious faces and soon the curious began arriving at the house to see the strange phenomena. 
parapsychologists also arrived to catalogue the activity, and eventually the earth beneath the floor was excavated, where it was rumoured that human skeletons were found. A new concrete floor was finally poured with the hopes that the activity would come to a halt. Unfortunately, only two weeks passed before a completely new face began to appear. Over the next 30 years, the Pereira family continued to witness the appearance of both male and female faces in a variety of expressions and sizes, with hundreds of people continuing to visit out of curiosity and scientific interest. The Pereira family encountered their fair share of skeptics who thought that the whole thing was a hoax. They speculated that the images were created by the family with paint or some other chemical compound to attract visitors to their home for financial gain. Even after analysis of the concrete flooring, no definitive proof was produced that supported the presence of paint in the creation of the faces. Located just south of Cornwall Bridge in Connecticut, Dudley Town is an enigma that has intrigued parapsychologists, historians and curiosity seekers for years. Numerous mysterious events are attributed to Dudley Town, including ghost sightings, mysterious deaths, and a curse that travelled across the sea from England with the Dudley family. Dudley Town was first settled by Thomas Griffiths in the 1740s, with Gideon Dudley arriving sometime around 1753. He purchased land from Griffiths, and more members of the Dudley family soon arrived, along with other families, to unofficially establish the town. According to legend, the curse of the Dudleys originated with an ancestor of the family. Edmund Dudley was beheaded in 1510 for plotting against King Henry VII. A curse was placed on the Dudley family at that time, with the curse stating that the descendants of the Dudleys would all experience nothing but horror, pain and death. The family then began experiencing a cruel run of bad luck that followed them to America. The curse seemed to be running strong in Dudley Town. Several individuals who lived in Dudley Town went insane, including one of the Dudley brothers. A woman reportedly hung herself in 1872, claiming that she had visions of demons before she died. Other events that occurred in Dudley Town included a man who fell to his death during a barn raising, a lightning strike that killed another Dudley Town woman, and the disappearance of two children who were playing in the woods. Eventually, Dudley Town became a ghost town, but around 1900, Dr. William Clark purchased the land and built a summer home. One weekend, while vacationing there with his wife, Dr. Clark was called away, leaving his wife there alone. When he returned home a couple of days later, he found that his wife had gone insane, babbling about a frightening creature that had come out of the woods to attack her. She committed suicide a short time later. Today the land is privately owned and law enforcement keeps a close eye on the property. Still, some paranormal investigators have managed to gain access to the land and reports have been made of many eerie happenings, including strange shadows, the sound of disembodied voices, orbs, cold spots and other unusual happenings. Apparently, the mystery of Dudley Town continues on. Starting late February 24th and continuing into early February 25th, 1942 Los Angeles found itself in the middle of an unidentified and unprovoked air attack that resulted in the death of five civilians and a massive panic amongst Los Angeles citizens. On February 24th, flares and lights were seen in the district of local defense plants, causing an alert to be issued at 7.18pm. The alert was rescinded at 10.23pm, but the strange activity returned early on the 25th. A blackout was ordered for all of Los Angeles, and at 3.16am, the 37th Coast Artillery Brigade began firing anti-aircraft shells and machine guns at an unidentified aircraft that was thought to be hovering over the area. This continued until 4.14am when it was determined that it was safe to call an all clear. The blackout was lifted at 7.21am on the morning of the 25th. This incident received a tremendous amount of press coverage, including photos that show searchlights combing the sky and artillery fire being directed at an unidentified object in the sky. Military officials stated that it was a false alarm. They concluded that citizens were jumpy after the Pearl Harbor attacks just a few months earlier, causing them to overreact to the sighting of a plane or weather balloon. This still didn't explain what exactly the military was firing on. The battle over Los Angeles remains an unsolved mystery even today. 
Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a property in the US that has demonstrated some of the most unusual paranormal activity in recorded history, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be up to date with all our latest videos. Stories of Skinwalker Ranch have intrigued paranormal investigators, ufologists and curiosity seekers since the 1990s. If the stories are to be believed, this property has demonstrated a wider variety of paranormal activity than nearly any other location, including poltergeist activity, cryptid sightings, UFO sightings, the appearance of portals and cattle mutilations. The 480 acre ranch is located just southeast of Ballard, Utah and is also referred to as the Sherman Ranch. There is a rich history of Native American legends involving the land, the most prominent being the tale of the Skinwalker, a malevolent witch or shaman who has the ability to take on the appearance of animals and sometimes even other people. In the 1990s, the Sherman family purchased the ranch with the intention of using it to breed prize-winning cattle. Right from the beginning, the Shermans began having problems on the ranch, starting with the appearance of a monstrous wolf that, while initially seeming tame, attacked a calf before being chased away from the frightened animal. The Shermans went after the animal and fired several shots with high-powered rifles at the wolf. While it seemed they had hit the animal, it continued on its way, seemingly uninjured. The Shermans had many strange episodes occur while living on the ranch, including the killing of two beloved ranch dogs that seemed to have been vaporized by strange orbs that were often seen on the property. They reached out to the public via radio and newspapers, but eventually they opted to sell the ranch, no longer willing to deal with all the strange happenings. Robert Bigelow purchased the land from the Shermans in the late 1990s. Having a strong interest in the paranormal and ufology, Bigelow decided to use the land for research. He installed an observation facility as well as a variety of high-tech equipment intended to monitor and capture any unusual activity. He also hired scientists to stay on the property in shifts in an attempt to discover what was actually taking place at the ranch. Over 100 incidents were reported, but no definitive conclusion was ever reached. Bigelow sold the ranch to Adamantium Real Estate LLC in 2016. Just a quick reminder to download the Amino app on your mobile phone. There's a link in the description box below or pinned in the comments section. Follow us in the Paranormal group for your chance to win some Slaptam t-shirts. All the terms and conditions are in the description box below. There's probably not much point doing an outro sing as you all should be downloading that Amino app for your chance to win some Slaptam t-shirts. So I guess I'll see you all next time.